all right guys welcome back to part two of how to create trading bots on mc5 in the last video we discussed the meaning of program programming and different programming language like um mko5 and mko4 mko5 being the programming language we are discussing in this series and in this video we'll be exploring the meta editor ide which i will explain the meaning later we also e explain different types of trading bots that we have for MetaTrader 5 and also cover some basic terminologies in programming. So in the last video, I said you should make some research on the meaning of IDE, but if you haven't done that, you can still proceed to watch this video because I'm going to explain it as if I've not explained anything to you guys before. So anytime you download MetaTrader 5 on your PC, if you notice, it always automatically comes with this software here called the Meta Editor IDE. Now, when I'm saying IDE, IDE means integrated development environment. So let me use uh, like an analogy to explain what I mean by integrated development environment. You know that if you want to write a project or you want to write a book, you need like an editor like um, MS Word to write your notes or if you want to jot down anything on your phone, you can use the note on your phone to jot it down. Now, in programming, if you want to write a code you will need ide ide is like the editor where you write your code it's like in comparison what text editor is for you if you want to jot down something so now if you want to write code you use the meta editor meta editor is the ide that we use for meta trader 5 where if you want to write a code to build trading bot on meta trader 5 you will need the meta editor 5 to write your code just like you will need a text editor to write down a note maybe on your phone or or whatever so let's explore the meta editor ide together i'm going to click it and open it now so if you open your meta editor 5 this is the page that will pop up now let's explore it together for you to understand it better if you want to start creating trading bots the first thing you need to do is to navigate to new once you click on new then the mql wizard will pop up the purpose of this mql wizard is for you to choose what type of trading bot that you want to create you can see here that we have different types of trading bots but in this video i'm going to explain the three most important maybe in the future videos we can explore some other options that we have here the first thing you can see here is they said expert advisor expert advisor is like the kind of trading bot that will stay on your chart for as long as you want. For example, you can activate a bot and tell the bot to wait patiently on your chart. Maybe you want to execute a trade when there is like a moving average crossing. After writing the code and you activate the bot on your chart, the bot is going to stay on your chart and wait for when there is a moving average crossing before executing a trade. That's the work of an expert advisor. Now we have another type of trading bot that we call script. Script is the type of type of trading board that does not stay on your chart is like a one-time password once you activate it then it deactivates itself immediately let me use the moving average crossing example again for example you know if you are using if the, the if you are using expert advisor expert advisor will stay on your chart for the moving average to cross but if you are using scripts if you activate the bot and right away there is no crossing the bot is going to remove itself from the chart compared to expert advisor that is going to wait patiently on the chart until there is a crossing the last trading board that i want to explain in this video is what i call the custom indicator the custom indicator is the type of trading board that does not execute trade you know we have different types of indicators just like your normal indicator like the moving average the bollinger band the rsi these are indicators but they don't execute trade they only give signal so those are the three types of the most important types of trading bots that will be working with if you create a script if you click on next it will ask you to input a name then you have to give your bot a name let me give it um testing bot that's the name of the bot then you can input your name like abio israel Pelumi. you can input it here or whatever you want then the link to maybe your website or whatever link you want to create that will be attached to the source code once you are done with that, then the next thing is for you to click on finish. Once you click on finish, this page will pop up, then you can maximize the screen. Now, you can see that here are the details we input earlier, the name I input, 
the link i added then this is like version one this means like the version of the bot that we are creating the name of the bot your name then the link to your website or whatever link you want to add to it now the first thing i will explain to you is how to display a message on your metatrader 5. let's say you want to display a message you can display a message by commenting it or by printing it on your chat to do that let me tell you something as this video progresses i might be saying some things you don't understand that's the way the basics of programming is just make sure you watch the video to the end and keep watching it as time progresses you will get to understand it better there are several ways you can send message to your chat in metatrader 5. the first way is by comment you can comment it comment another way is by sending it as an alert another way is by printing it out so these are the three ways you can send a message to your metatrader 5 now let's say i want to send the i want to comment the message on my chat on metatrader 5 it is in between these two curly brackets that you'll be writing your code this is the curly bracket i'm talking about right this is what we call the invent handler this void on start open bracket is what we call invent handler as this video progresses maybe in the next video i will explain what invent handlers are but for now just do exactly what i'm doing now in between these two curly brackets is where you'll be writing any code that you want to write not here not here but in between these two curly brackets let's say i want to display a message on my chat i will come inside these two curly brackets let me say i want to comment it on my chat you type in comments capital letter c comment open bracket once you open bracket then add semicolon to semicolon now once you add the two semicolon inside this bracket type in whatever message you want to comment let me type hello world once you do that then end the line with a semicolon type exactly this as a okay this should be d the word type exactly this line in between these two curly bracket once you are done with that then click on compile now what is the purpose of this compile the purpose of this compile is to let you know if there are errors in your code for example every line of code in mkl5 must end with a semicolon for example if i did not add the semicolon and i compile this compiler is going to tell me that there is an error in my code you can see a saying semicolon expected then we come here then add it once you add it click on compile again it should tell you zero errors and zero warnings i know all these are sounding straight to you but just play along with me now if i click on compile then go to your meta trader 5 then go to view once you go to view go to navigator once you go to navigator you know the type of bot we created was scripts you come to you click on this plus symbol in front of script then the name of the bot we name it that should be testing bot testing bot right you come here you left click on it then drag it to your chat once you drag it to your chat you can see that the you are seeing something like hello world which means we are commenting the message on our chat another way you can display a message on mt5 is by using the alert function instead of comments you change it to alert a l e r t once you do that come back here again click on compile once you compile and you have zero errors and zero warning go back to your meta trader 5 click and drag the bots you can see that we have hello world that's another way of displaying message on meta trader 5 another way of displaying message on meta trader 5 i'm coming if you go to view and you click on two box and you click on expert advisor good if you click on if you use the alert it's going to it's going to display on the chat like it did earlier then also show under the expert option in your toolbox now if i remove this from here but if you don't want it to like display on the chat and make a sound you just want it to display here all you have to do is to change this alert to print once you are done with that always make sure you compile once you compile go back to your meta trader 5 click on this drag it to your chat then it will only be display here instead of alert let me use the alert again so that you see the difference if i use 
a lot compile i'll get the message both on the charts and in the expert section but if i use print i really get it in the expert option if i use comments i really get it on the chart let me come back here again change this to uh, let me write l o v e love and just comment if i click on co compi compile come back here you see that this hello word will change to love so those are the three ways you can send message on your you can display message on your meta trader 5 in MQ, using mql5 which is the programming language we use to build trading bot on mt5 so in this video we explored the meta editor ide we explain different types of trading bots and i also showed you how to display different messages on your chat so tomorrow i'll be dropping another video where i will be explaining another concept entirely and some of the things that i said in this video that you don't understand you can make your research though it is normal in programming when you just start there might be some things you don't really understand but as time progresses you will get to understand it better if you have any question make sure you ask me in the comment section i will reply you immediately make sure you subscribe to this youtube channel so that when i drop the next video you will be notified thanks for watching